Oh, hey, Captain, it's Baz again with another video from World of Warships Legends. And today we do have a very special video for you. It's been a long time coming. Yes, we're doing a Let's Play in the uh, Queen Elizabeth. This is the British Tier 5 battleship. And we're in a game of domination on the map ring. But this video has quite the story behind it. So if you saw at the beginning there, on the team screen at the very top of our team in the Anchan, is a World of Warships Legends streamer named Yakonomics. If you're not familiar with him, he does stream uh, quite a bit. And he's very entertaining, but most importantly, he's very inclusive and extremely supportive of the Legends community. And now this match came about because he was doing count-ins on one of his streams. And then this stream in particular, he was actually doing a fundraiser for another player in the community, someone who's in his division, playing in the California, Agent Vader. Now really quickly, the story behind the fundraiser was that Agent Vader uh, recently received custody of his uh, six-month-old grandson. And um, I kind of forget the details, but I think he might have been in between jobs or, or something where times were a little bit tough. Uh, this uh, was way back in uh, the middle of June of 2022. But anyways, the economics said, hey, let's do a fundraiser for you through my YouTube channel. And every dime that I get, I'm going to give it to you, buddy. And I think it turned out to be a great success. I think he uh, raised over $1,000 or at least got 1000 in donations. Uh, me personally, I, I give a little contribution too because I thought it was for a good cause. Being a new dad myself, I know how difficult things can be with a newborn. So yeah, add all that up and we get this match here. Now I will post a link to Yankonomic Stream down in the uh, description below. So if you want, you can take a look at this match uh, from his perspective. The match started at around 2 hours, 8 minutes, and 22 seconds. So yeah, check him out. I watch Yankonomic's uh, stream all the time. He streams uh, during the times where I'm uh, online the most. And he streams a lot when nobody else is streaming. And again, he's very supportive of the community and a super great guy. Warning to the kiddies, he is a little more adult oriented, so uh, if you are a child, do bring your parents if you are uh, going to watch one of his streams. But yeah, uh, the other reason why we are uh, showing this match now uh, is because we are playing in the Queen Elizabeth. And I thought uh, with the Queen's recent passing, it would be a good time to uh, dig out this video and do a bit of a dedication and use it to pass our condolences on to our uh, friends across the pond in the UK. And uh, yeah, the Queen meant a lot to, to us over here in Canada too. She was our uh, monarch and uh, she's on all of our money. And I know I'm a little late uh, coming out with this video, but uh, it's how it is with old Vaz. He's got a small child, full-time job, and a wife. Gotta try and balance everything out and keep everybody happy. Also had uh, COVID uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, this daycare bug my daughter brought home from daycare that was freaking horrible yeah i'm always behind with these things so thanks to, uh, for all your patience and support guys but yeah anyway so we have two good reasons to show this match so let's get to it now we had spawned in the center unfortunately we saw that over on the right flank there were only two ships uh, being that this was a carrier match everyone was sort of uh, spawned uh, awkwardly so we thought to ourselves, let's go help those two guys over there. You know, who knows, it might be a lost cause, but um, honestly, that's uh, what wins matches. You have to have a good balance on both sides of the map. You don't want to just uh, overload one side of the map and play merry-go-round with the, the other team. Maybe they do the same thing and nothing happens. I've seen matches like that before. We want to get into the action, you know? Come on, challenge ourselves a little bit. Let's go over to that weak side of the map. We know we'll be outnumbered, but that's how we get better, right? And on our way over there, we uh, took advantage of some poor New York in a failed division. This is a Tier 5 and Tier 6 match. And that poor Tier 4 got sucked in in a failed division. And uh, we took advantage and we uh, knocked him out of the game and got our first sinking of the match out of the way. And since then, the enemy destroyer has been decided in uh, the Delta Cap. So that's good. We know exactly uh, where they are. Not that we have to be too scared of a guidey. Their torpedoes aren't uh, anything to uh, write home about. But we did uh, have ourselves in a good position to uh, get a couple of crossfire shots over on the uh, northern flank there. Fortunately, that uh, West Virginia, I think, uh, returned some fire on us. 
But honestly, I'll trade barbs like that all day. A lot of the times I say, you gotta show me something before I give you some respect, so... So I don't mind sailing full broadside uh, from a battleship at uh, 15 kilometers until he can show me that he can hit me from there. Plus, I thought he would have had his hands full with Yonk's division over there on the uh, northern flank in Alpha Cap. So I was surprised he returned fire at me. He did start to angle away from us, so we did uh, swap to HE, and uh, with our next salvo, we did light him on fire, and that's been burning for a little bit. But due to the way that the enemy ships are positioned, we're starting to move our ship uh, quite a bit uh, more forward now. And uh, look where the enemy destroyer is now. She sailed all the way to the Alpha Cap. Steps in. And uh, we're just licking our chops, waiting for this Nelson to point his nose out for us from behind that island. We had swapped back to AP. We got ourselves a nice salvo of over 10k and an incapacitated turret. Well, we don't see any reason to uh, go all the way around these islands, so let's go straight into the center. Now we're thinking about map control right now. We have uh, the Charlie Cap, the Delta Cap, and although we do have the Alpha Cap, the enemy team is making a play for it. So we want to head over there and try and help hold them off. Got our West Virginia friend in the distance there. We were only able to hit him with uh, one out of four shells from our front two turrets. But whoo boy, he got finished off right quick. Looked like uh, Red Death got the final blow. Red Death was the uh, third member of Yonkonomics' division. So those guys are wreaking havoc over here. Now that those two uh, battleships are off the board, we're thinking that uh, there's no point in uh, grouping up with those guys. Let's put ourselves in a position to get into a crossfire of some sort. Maybe that uh, New Orleans will retreat and back up. Or hell, let's just go for the Bravo Cap. So we're going to head... Uh, towards the uh, the northeast. There's an enemy Nuremberg in that cap. He's at full health. And we looked back at the New Orleans. And we looked back at the Nuremberg. And all of a sudden he's at half health. So it's almost turning into a bit of a friendly competition here on the blue team. As to who can actually get their damage in. Well, even though we're at uh, 73,000, we need to pull up our socks here a little bit. But you know what? While we're pulling up them socks, let's get our commander up on the screen. We're using Andrew Cunningham and the Queenie. And the skills we're using are Flammable Cannoneer, Gyrating Jailbrits, Marksmanship, and Reaching Out XXL. And for the legendary skill, we got uh, Will to Rebuild up on there. Now as for our inspirations, we use uh, d Rebel to help with the reload time. And uh, I use Gibrette because I find that uh, I like to have a little bit extra speed in my British battleships. So there we had uh, the Ismail uh, sailing broadside, and we thought, oh, let's take advantage of that before he sails behind the island. And maybe uh, get shots at that Nuremberg next, but oh, Nuremberg gets taken out. And uh, our Savo got about 13k, pretty decent. But uh, oh boy, broadside New Orleans, let's turn our ship around and uh, get all of our turrets pointed towards him. Oh yeah, we are really swinging our heart around. This is going to be real nice, isn't it? As soon as that uh, New Orleans stops uh, backing up and starts going forward again, we line her up. Whammo, Citadel, and our second sinking of the match. Well, things aren't exactly all roses for us here. We are only up uh, by one ship. Things could still turn south. We do need to keep our foot on the gas here. We know that Ismail is lurking behind that island there. Boy, it would sure be nice to finish him off. Hopefully he comes out sailing broadside. We do have a decent amount of health, so we don't need to be too, too careful. And there he is. He's popping out broadside. But boy, does our turret traverse ever slow. I know that, yeah, they were uh, all the way on the other side of the ship. But still, that, uh, that feels like it's taking ages. We did get our back turrets around on him uh, in time, and we uh, just left him with a uh, little sliver of health there. Come on, let's uh, get our front turrets uh, going. Let's see if they can finish him off, and unfortunately, we uh, swing and miss. That was some pretty bad dispersion there. But you know what, I think there is a, a battleship uh, backing me up there. We're going to leave the Ismail to him. And we're going to go get ourselves a carrier, maybe uh, get ourselves a cap. 
because now there's just a battleship with a sliver of health left and the enemy carrier. Honestly, it's just a matter of time, so let's speed things up. By that, I mean uh, trying to eliminate these ships as quickly as possible. We don't want things to drag out too long here. And uh, I gotta give credit to the enemy carrier here. He kind of uh, gives himself up a little bit. And uh, he puts his carrier in gear instead of backing up to the back edge of the map. And uh, hats off to him. You gotta respect someone who knows when to wave the white flag. So we're gonna get our ship around. Uh, might as well get uh, all four guns to target. Uh, we lined them up real nice there. And our first salvo gets us the Confederate and the High Caliber Medal. Take it away, Yonk. Look at Vegas, man. Look at Vegas, dude. Vegas out there with his High Cal and his fucking Confederate, bro. It's amazing. <laughs> Why, thank you, sir. You know, uh, honestly, we just kind of played a, more of a supportive role in this match. We didn't really... Uh, get into the thick of things too too much you can tell by our health there uh, like I was talking about uh, earlier we uh, put ourselves in a position to, uh, so that we could get a crossfire on the enemies on the other flank and uh, not only did that reward us uh, with some damage but I think that uh, really uh, threw them off their game too And uh, so there you go we finished off the carrier found a whole bunch of damage off of him got ourselves a dev strike and our third sinking of the match and there's the win so yeah, very fun match. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, we did end uh, with 142,000 in damage and uh, three sinkings, high caliber, and confederate medals. And uh, shout out to Yankonomics, Red Death, and Agent Vader, who are on our team. Thank you guys for doing all the heavy lifting. And again, big shout out to Yankonomics for uh, holding that fundraiser for Agent Vader. That's a really cool thing you don't see very often. And uh, although you don't expect everyone to do uh, fundraisers and stuff, just the fact that uh, you know, the economics is uh, so inclusive, he's always there to help uh, people out. You know, you wish you'd see uh, more of that in the community. Well, anyways, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, take care of yourselves and do what makes you happy. Got him lit up the whole match. Boss, you played a great game, dude. Boss Vegas, you played a great game. Yeah, it's a good game. High Cal, Confederate, hell yeah. 142k. GG, my man. GG's. And Yank, GG to you too, sir.